I'm going to show you what to do with this thin piece of template plastic that came in your kit. So the first thing you're going to do is um, cut it into a hexagon shape. You're going to take your small ruler, make sure it's your small one, and you're going to center it onto that plastic. I don't want to turn it this way because I'm going to trim it a half inch bigger and the points don't have enough room that way. So make sure that the straight sides are even right here and then that you've got plenty of room on the points. So center it inside that template plastic. Next you're going to get a Sharpie marker and we're going to trace around that hexagon shape right on to the template plastic. Since we're using sort of a large marker, we're not going to be exactly right next to the hexagon, but it'll still work, okay? So I've got all of the six sides traced, and that image is onto my template plastic. Next, I'm going to cut out using my large ruler. I put a piece of double stick tape right here just to hold it in place. So I'm going to center that etched line on this ruler over that traced line and it's going to be a little bit smaller because remember our marker was a little bit fat. Okay, and then you're going to cut out right next to the edge of that big ruler. You can use a rotating cutting mat or if you do put this, the double stick tape on there, it really just helps hold it in place and then you can throw this away. I missed one little spot there. Okay, now my template plastic is all ready. You just tear off that double stick tape and it's ready to go. If you want, you can pull off the sticker, the dot sticker, and put it right here in the middle, or you can also just mark it. There is a hole in the middle of your rulers to help you center. Okay, I don't usually mark the center because what we do next is going to solve the problems of centering. Okay, the next thing is, is what do you use this for? This is so that we can center our applique pieces inside this hexagon. So sometimes your pieces will need to be turned under your background and so we need to add this and sometimes when you're appliquing it's hard to get this centered when you can't see where the little pieces need to go. So what you do is you get your pattern and you lay your template plastic over the top and you center that drawn line with your Sharpie over the finished size. Then this is where you use your dry erase marker. Do not use a Sharpie or the, the marks will never come off. But this dry erase marker allows you to trace, and I've traced those items there. I'm going to just trace this last piece. And you can see that you don't need to trace super good. This is just to get it centered because these designs are all centered within that hexagon shape. Then I take out my hexagon and here's my hexagon which has been cut using the large ruler and I'm going to put my traced hexagon with my template plastic over the top and then I can just lift this up and I can get all those little pieces in the right spot to get them ready for applique. Sometimes if you're doing um, little pieces, you can use tweezers. Sometimes I use a binding clip and I will clip this on over here so that I can lift it up and it's always in the same spot. That works nice. So do you see how you're going to just get all of these pieces in their place? After they're here, I use a little bit of applique glue 
and I just put a little tiny couple of drops behind the pieces and I glue them in place so that then I can stick this in my sewing basket, take my threads and my needle, and I'm ready to applique. One other thing I was going to show you, this is another um, piece, another motif, and this one was cut incorrectly. I was freehanding these before I got my rulers, but you can still see that I can still center that and there's all of these little dots that go around the edge. What I would do to do these and, and glue them in place is I would put one drop of glue. Sorry, my lid is stuck on there. I would just put one little drop of glue. That's actually a big drop, but that's okay. I'd get a pair of tweezers and then I hold this in place and you can reach under and center that right where it needs to go and you can glue all of them in place that way and then it's all ready to stitch.